Welcome to iPlanetpedia, your trusted source for expert parenting advice. Today we delve into the often perplexing world of baby crying and colic, offering insights and solutions to help bring comfort to both you and your baby. Crying is a baby's primary means of communication. It's how they signal their needs, whether it's hunger, discomfort, or the need for a little cuddle. Understanding why your baby cries is the first step in addressing their needs effectively. Let's explore some common reasons babies cry. Hunger is a frequent cry trigger, especially since newborns need to feed every two to three hours. Discomfort from wet or dirty diapers is another common reason. Overstimulation from too much noise, light or activity can overwhelm babies, leading to tears. Now what about colic? Colic is characterized by prolonged periods of intense crying in an otherwise healthy baby, typically starting within the first few weeks of life and lasting until about three to four months old. The cause of colic is not well understood, but is thought to be linked to digestive discomfort or an immature nervous system. Symptoms of colic include intense crying episodes lasting more than three hours a day, more than three days a week, for at least three weeks. Crying typically occurs at the same time each day, often in the late afternoon or evening. You may notice clenched fists, a tense body, or difficulty soothing your baby during these episodes. To comfort a crying baby or one with colic, consider these techniques. Swaddling provides a snug, secure feeling, mimicking the womb. Gentle rocking or swinging can also be soothing. White noise or soft background sounds can calm and comfort. For colicky babies, supervised tummy time can help as can a warm bath or gentle tummy massage to relieve gas and aid digestion. For feeding. Breastfed babies benefit from frequent feeding and monitoring the mother's diet for potential irritants. For formula-fed babies, choosing a gentle formula and ensuring proper feeding techniques can make a big difference. If your baby's crying is persistent and you suspect it might be due to pain or illness, or if the crying episodes increase in frequency or intensity, consulting your pediatrician is crucial. Thank you for watching this guide on iPlanetpedia. Remember, each baby is unique and finding the right solution may take time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more parenting tips.